Hi everyone. I'm over here with my second video on this machine because I've gotten several phone calls. If you take a look, I'm going to add some new pictures. You'll see I cleaned the machine up and it's cleaned up fairly nicely. So we're going to start off by turning on the machine. But this over here is the Orber PID switch. And I checked with my husband, who's the person, the original owner of the machine. And he says that this particular uh, switch here is original to the machine. He called up the manufacturer and that uh, it has uh, three settings of which you will only use one uh, according to the manufacturer. And that's the one to set the temperature. Uh, just uh, to go over the features again, it has brewing. This is for water here, hot water, and this is for frothing right on this end. Uh, it comes, it doesn't have the cover, the original cover, because as I mentioned before, that cover is $35, which I think is absolutely insane. So this is a plastic cover that my husband improvised and put there. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, let's, let me show you the plate. Some people ask about the condition here. You can see it's nice and clean. There's no rusting here. I'll take pictures of the underside. Um, I don't think there's any rusting on the underside, but again, I'll take pictures of better pictures and put them on the internet. So let's start off with, uh, again, uh, running this machine. I actually should run coffee through it, but I just had a cup of coffee. So we'll just do the water part again. Over here is the Auber PID and I have it set, I think at 221. So this will start, it's going to be a long video. This will start to uh the temperature will start to rise as it goes through the boiler and then this little light here will begin to flash now unlike if you look on the internet unlike the newer uh, models of this Auber pid the you have somewhere you could set the fusion and the brewing time this is not that one this one just simply works on temperature also, another feature that the newer Orber PIDs have is that they can, once you set it here, or once it reaches temperature, when you press this on, you put on the brewer simultaneously button, and then you control it from here. Well, for this particular Orber PID, that's not the case. You're still going to control your features from using these buttons right here. So as you can see that the, the temperature is rising and um, it's going to go up to 221. And if you look at the other video that I made when I put the thermometer in it, it was like 180. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to be 221 when it comes out, uh, the water or your, rather the coffee comes out because that would be scathing hot. But it does give you a really uh, hot cup of coffee. There's a lot of wa watchers out there. Uh, I think I have 21 watchers on the product now. Uh, or the item, I should say. It's a great item. Uh, it was well maintained by the person who previously, previously owned it. Uh, someone asked if it had been back flush. I don't know. I know it's been cleaned. Uh, I don't know if it was back flush. I can't tell you. But it, it's worked really well. And the water is very clean. Uh, my husband has maintained it. Uh, I think that you will be uh, very satisfied. And I think this machine is probably going to outlast anyone. Uh, these things are built like tanks. They're unbelievable. Uh, they are just uh, high quality machines. And um, we love them. We, we, uh, we have... Um, have had various models, not only of the Rensilio, but of the Gaja. And honey, if you turn over there, you'll see we are big coffee fanatics. We own that and we own a Gaggia and we own over here, please. <laughs> and we uh, have had several models that we have owned and sold. Uh, we just like coffee and we like to try on different machines. Also, uh, when someone asked me a question about the maintaining of the machine. Uh, one of the things that I have done uh, is, and I'm not put it, pu pushing a plug for this company, but a whole latte love.com. They are excellent. I have used them to clean machines. 
Uh, you send your machine to them, pack it up, and I don't know if you pay for the return shipping, how it works, I can't remember, but they send you back that machine pristine, nice and clean. Uh, they're just excellent if you have a machine that you want to just clean out really well. Uh, so, um, and I understand they do repairs, not, not that saying that this machine needs repairs, but they also uh, make repairs. All right, anyway, oh, it's going up. It'll continue to go up until it gets to 221. Um, I think in the other video, the temperature's at 221. I don't know how much longer it'll take. We could stand here and watch it. But let me uh, get the portafilter ready. This portafilter here is uh, Rancilio, as you can see. There's the um, little emblem. I think someone asked about that doesn't again this is a later model I believe pre 2006 so uh, this is uh, doesn't have the name here but you'll see it's the original water filter this thing is heavy too anyway let's uh, put it in here I probably should get some coffee and we have coffee so we have some of that have we opened this? I thought you said we we're going to start using this. No, we should open this and use it, right? You said we should start using this Cuban coffee. We don't have any ground coffee. We usually um, ground our beans. I don't know if I want to open this. Should I open it? Oh, this is going to be a Christmas gift. My husband's whispering. That's going to be a Christmas gift. I hope our daughters are not watching that. Okay. Anyway, you'll see that it works. <laughs> Unless somebody wants to buy a bag of, of, of cooked Cuban coffee that we bought from Cuba, then screw the Christmas gift. Here we have it. Cafe El Arrero, uh, Echo, and Cuba. So, you know, might want to throw in an offer for the coffee, too. <laughs> My husband's saying, no, it's a Christmas gift for the girls. We have three daughters. Okay, so... Actually, five friends and daughters. Uh, I guess it, 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 it seems like forever 217. It's getting up there. And uh, there's a, a, to set it, you press here and you'll see, I'll go through those features after. Why don't I just do that afterwards? Actually, you don't press set. You press this one here, but I want to do it now. And you see this is flashing. I could actually start right now, but I want to show everyone that the PID Auber is working. I know that um, there were some questions regarding the PID. This uh, little switch here, uh, this switch without installing runs somewhere between $150 and $175. It's an expensive little uh, apparatus there uh, to make your coffee hotter. But I, I, I'm such a stickler uh, for that. Actually, I'm thinking of getting it, sending my other Gaggia to Whole Latte Love and have them uh, install. I'm not sure if they do it. I know they do it when you purchase it, but I'm not sure if they do an after purchase installation of this PID switch here. I think it's great, again, but that's for people who are really into their coffee, which I am very much into it, and my husband, we have several cups a day. Okay, we're reaching the um, the magic number, 221, and it shouldn't go up further than that because I set it for 221, and you can, uh, from what I have read, 221 is a good number, but everyone has their the number they they like or the temperature they they prefer to drink their coffee so we're just waiting for it to reach one more digit here thank you for your patience thank you for looking at my auction and um, again this is a, a great machine don't let the uh, age fool you um, this is a tank and uh, 
they last forever and there you go you you've reached the 221 okay now in the other uh, video which you can look at I showed you how to use the uh, frother and the reason why you want to uh, use it if you're gonna use it first then run hot water to, to cool down your boiler and so on so here we're just going to now just um, show you again that maybe I should put a shorter cup here I'll put this here so you can see ouch okay so now here we go. And there, it's really nice and strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, just wanted to count the seconds so you can see um, how uh, fast. Oh, that's hot. That's really hot. Hold on right there. Let's see if I can get my thermometer again. It's cooling down as we speak. Oh, trying to get that thermometer. I'm never prepared, so that's just me. But uh, here we go. Let's try this again. There you go. Whoops. Whoops. I need to keep that. All right. There you go. It's steadily climbing, climbing, climbing. have this oops somewhere between right now it's somewhere between 150 and 160 okay now I'm gonna do this one more time let's throw this out So I have the thermometer ready. The thermometer is back down again, as you can see. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Okay. Of course, when there's coffee in the portafilter, it's different. Okay, here we go again. And each time you use it, you, if you look over here, the temperature obviously is going to go down. Uh, so there you go again. It's climbing a little bit more this time. You have 160 there. I think the other day, uh, the other video, I might have had it up to uh, 180. You're supposed to turn it on. I haven't turned it on and left it on for too long, but once you have it on and you leave it on for a while, forget what they say, you have it turned on for 40 minutes or so, it uh, it really hits up. So this is just having turned it on right now, as you've seen the length of this video, which is right now 13 minutes or whatever. Uh, yeah, 13 minutes. So it's 160. So you can see that it's in good working order. So uh, I hope that I've answered uh, most questions here. Feel free, again, to uh, write me uh, on eBay and ask any questions that you would like about this fabulous machine. Stop watching and buy it. I, I already have an offer, but uh, I think it's a little too low. It's lower than um, what the ones without the PID uh, are uh, selling for. So um, I, am, uh, I think it's, uh, not I think, I know it's worth a lot more than that. Uh, it, as I said, it's in excellent shape. So thanks again for looking and um, have a wonderful holiday and take this home to someone who might be uh, interested. I wonder if you can take the temperature up here. <laughs> you can't anyway, but it's hot. This is hot. That's really hot. It gets hotter than my gaja. I mean, not so hot that, but it's hot. So thanks for looking and have a wonderful holiday.